got a bit of an issue here. It's moist. Put some pig mat down because I left it sitting here for a couple of months in the winter and it's leaking power steering fluid. Luckily, it's only coming from the return and supply hose from the reservoir. So we've got our supply right there and our return right there in the middle. That just goes down into the rack. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those hoses. Went to my local advanced auto parts. I got some 3 8 power steering return hose and some where's it out there it is some half inch so I'm gonna take the old ones out and replace them with these try to bend these up show you guys uh, how I do that to get some bends in these because you're just straight but let's go ahead and do that pull out these old hoses I'll probably take the intake off because uh, that'll free up a lot of space and then start removing the hoses Try to get the mass airflow sensor out the way so I can get to my clip. Got this clip here. There we go. Get that out of the way. Set that aside. I'm gonna remove that clamp that's down there so I can take the intake off. Just need a 10 mil. Gotta get this bracket tray out of the way and I got a 10 that's way down in there. Get that guy out of the way. There we go. Mm-hmm. Work it back and forth. Circular motions. Perfect. Yeah, that's it's quite long. Sure. She's been through one too many heat cycles, so I'm gonna take a pick, get this straight pick, and I'm gonna put a little dielectric grease at the end of it. Just smear that around a little bit. Just so that it makes it, you know, insertion less painful? I don't know. It's been through a lot of heat cycles. So, you know, she's cooked. That's what I'm saying. It's right by the, right by the turbo. So, get it in there. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Houston? We have liftoff. Maybe. Oh my goodness. There we are. Ooh, easy. With that out of the way, we can see our two clamps right here. That one looks like an 8, and that one looks like a 10. Mm hmm. Dong, ding, ding, dong, dong, ding, 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 dong, dong, ding. Gonna take a piece of pig mat and set it under here to catch the mess that we make. Mm hmm. Perfect. And I'm gonna loosen the clamp on the bottom. That's another 10. Alright, got that clamp loose down here. And this one's not so stuck because, you know, it's been full of fluid. Yep. Easy. Oh, yeah, she's got some fluid in there. Little syringe action. Get my tip right in there. Feed it. Take it. Sure. Go further. Okay. Go dump this out. Feed it some more. Get in there. All the way. There we go. 
Yeah, that should be fine. All right, let's pull the rest of this off all the way. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Minimal mess. Now for the return. Yep. Come on. Come on. Perfect. That thing's dry rotted. Same story here. Get it in there. All the way as far as we can. Uh, well, not much because, you know, it's been leaking. Okay, just got to get this out the way so I can get to the bottom one. Set it down here for now. Sure. Okay, now the bottom one, bottom one's way, way down there. See it right, right there? Yep, now I got to get to that one. All right, we got it loose. Now we just got to yank it out. Okay. Sure. Oh my. Ah. Good. Grief. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the reservoir off to clean it. There we are. All right, I'm gonna show you how I get these intricate bends and stuff onto rubber hoses out of straight. What I've got here, these are copper tubing benders. So typically you would insert your copper in through here and then you can bend it and pull it out so that it doesn't kink on you. If we, if we take this hose and we just kink it, Right, it collapses, and we don't want that. So I'll take one that fits. So this guy fits into there. Okay, so we'll use that one, and then this skinny one fits into there. Sweet. See the nice job they did at cutting that. Yeah. Well, we'll make sure to cut it nice. So we'll use those two. Get these out the way. We'll start with the skinny one here. So what we'll do is we'll insert our tubing bender, which is going to be our hose bender, all the way. <laughs> so that we can get, we'll probably start with this, with that bend first, and then do the rest of them. So I'm going to use a heat gun. This is a drill master. Hobo freight. We'll heat it up and then bend it. I'll probably put some gloves on because it'll get kind of warm. Safety first. Sure. So we'll take, yeah, probably about there. Take that. We'll heat that up there. Rotate it all the way around. And you know when it's good, when you can smell burning. Or you'll see it start to swell up. We'll take that and we'll give it a bend a little more than what we actually want so that when it cools off, it kind of retains that shape. So I can bend it some more and it's kind of retaining its shape now instead of collapsing on itself. So that'll be good. The next one we'll do is this big loop. So we'll put that into there so we'll heat that up this cool off for a while maybe so we got that bend in there then we're gonna do the opposite direction so there and I'll heat that up let that cool off All right, I've worked this guy for a little bit. You can see we're pretty close. Um, I might have to bend this guy up a little bit more. And then I'm going to bend up. 
Uh, yeah, I'll probably try to put the bends into here as well. It'll just take some time, but as you can see, you get pretty close. And then once they fit in there, they'll probably stay, you know, go through heat cycles and retain their shape. Got my reservoir cleaned up. Took the inside out, the little filter that's inside. Here, I'll show you guys. See that filter in there? There's a clip that I was able to pull off with some needle nose. Pull that clip straight up and then you can get to your filter and clean it out. There was a little bit of gunk in there, some debris. But got that cleaned out, so now she's good to go. I can go ahead and install it in the car. And I've already got my other hose cut up and bent. Good. All right, we got the reservoir in. Now let's get our hose in here. Perfect. Looks good. Before we put the supply hose, we'll go ahead and tighten up our clamps. Here we are. Dun, 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 dun. Tug test? That ain't going anywhere. As I put these hoses on, I'm adding a little dielectric grease to the hoses. So that way whenever I go insert them, then it's a lot easier. And I couldn't find another clamp for this one, so we'll be reusing this. We'll replace it some other time, maybe. Oh, well. A little extra. A lot more. Yeah. Yep. And we'll get our clamp up there. Get the other one on. Kind of loosen that guy. My finger. Okay, that one's set. Drop in our filler filter. Perfect. Put some juice in it. I'm going to put some uh, ATF because the red line I usually run can't get here in time. And I don't want to wait. So I'll run this and then I will order the red line and replace it. So this will give it a little flush. Easy. Faster. Come on. Go through. Yep. Drink it up, little buddy. Check our level with our cap slash dipstick. Let's see. And we are right at, right above cold, right under hot. So I might have to take some out of it. We'll see. All right, let's put our air filter back on. Easy. All right. There we go, push it in as far as we can. Line that up. Okay, now we'll hook up our mass airflow sensor back up. Put that in there. And then we got a little metal clip to retain it. Make sure to get that in there. Seat it all the way. There we go. Clip that. Perfect. Excuse me. Get that in there, careful. Torqued. Torqued. And there we have it. All done. 